Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Degenerate Cardboard Enthusiasts. My name is Terry, and today's video, we're going to be talking about is it worth it to go to Japan and attend the world premiere and the calling for the new sets coming out, part the Miss Veil. Now, we talked about the part the Miss Veil uh, a few uh, videos ago, how it's going to be release the world premiere is going to be released on uh, in Japan in Tokyo at around May 17 to May 8 uh, to May 19 yeah that's when they got to not only have the set set out uh, released during that time for the world premiere but it's also going to be introducing the Japanese language cards in there so they're going to be in addition along with the whole uh, Spanish, French, German, Italian, and also obviously English. Now they're gonna add Japanese to it. <clears throat> so a few videos ago, I was talking about how excited I was to not only go, like attempted to go, but this is a good opportunity for me to go and finally get to go to Japan and get to see. So I took it as an opportunity. So like maybe I'll do a little vacationing and do some tourist stuff. To uh, along with um, the flesh and blood, uh, I'm not gonna join the calling, but like do the events and side events and all that stuff. And I always wanted to go, so I took it. Hey, maybe I'll do that. This is a good time, good excuse to finally get to go see Japan. Okay, and I looked up um, like flights and everything, and then I started to think about, hmm, I don't know if it's worth it for a plane ticket that price. So. Let's discuss in here. So I'm originally from, well, I'm not original. I'm originally from Vietnam, but I am living in New York City. So I looked up uh, flights right now. Flight from New York to Tokyo, and I actually did from May 12 to May 27 because I'm planning to spend two weeks there. Not only just for flesh and blood, but to do some tours. I do Akihabara, go to Skichi markets and whatnot and do all the crazy stuff. So I found the cheapest one with one stop here. Only for 50 minutes, uh, you something, uh, Mar like it looks like I'm going to be in somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. And then best returning flight, let's just say uh, I'm going to pick whatever. Yeah, click on. Okay. So it's going to cost me around $1,234. At first, when I saw a couple of days ago, I looked it up. I clicked on non-stop only and that was around two thousand dollars so i was like oh two thousand dollars not no i don't think it's worth it but then uh, i just clicked on this and i saw okay with a with a one stop which is only 50 minute uh, layover on the first one 50 minutes like hey that's not too bad and it, that knocks off like eight hundred dollars right there like around seven hundred dollars like okay that might be worth it because if i were to go to uh to play flesh and blood and also to tour around uh, Japan and that price not too bad because I think um, May is like a like an off-season thing peak uh, like non-peak because uh, I think like the peak one is like during spring break which is like May and April and then the summertime is like that's when school is off and all that and basically anything that when school is off that's like peak and all that stuff <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself like hey not too bad. I go to uh, uh, join some events, uh, play some fabs, play uh, like, and then see Japan. Hey, but but if I were to do that only to go to J Japan just to play Fresh and Blood, and uh, do the side events, it's definitely not worth it for me because I am not a competitive player by no means. I am horrible at playing Flesh and Blood. I just love to play side events and I dub my brothers and our friends who plays, uh, who goes to these big uh, fab events to do side uh, side events and then we pull our tickets together to go get some like prize wall. So we call, I dub each other the side chicks. We are the side events whores. So we love playing side events so we are the side chicks. But I digress. So it's definitely not worth it for me to go to Japan just to play some flesh and blood. I could stay home, play my towel shirt. That's fine. I'm I'm fine with that. Or wait to another event like nearby, which is like Hartford Calling, that that just happened. as an hour and a half away from me. I go drive there, an hour and a half. I play some of my three days, and then I'm done. That's it. I'm not gonna pay a thousand, uh, twelve hundred dollars for that. Now, if you are a pro player, 
okay and you're a pro player and you're just going to fly to Japan for the calling and uh, the world premiere and that stuff that's gonna be in the gray area because well, if you look at it, I'm gonna click on this quickly just to, uh, so we're gonna go through this. Uh, I should have done this a little qu uh, during time. All right, so let's go back to the call. All right, right here. It says day two. Remember we talked about the last, last video? Day two, all booster draft will be conducted in Japanese language product. So if you are going, you're gonna pay $1,200 to fly to Japan to compete in the calling. And let's just say you make it to day two because on day one they they allow you to do English or ja or Japanese, all right? So you could say, hey, I'll let me give it. In. But then when day two comes, we're gonna be drafting, and you're gonna be drafting only in Japanese, okay? If you don't know Japanese, you don't know a lick of Japanese and all that stuff, you are at disadvantage. So do you really want to pay that thousand dollars or a thousand dollar plus just to go at enter at a a pro tournament or like a highly competitive tournament at a, a very huge disadvantage that's up to you and now if you know Japanese you read write Japanese and speak Japanese and you want to uh, uh, you want to spend that thousand dollars just to go there to play okay that's on you uh, uh, that's your now if you're a pro player and you want to do that and you also be using that time to have opportunity to vacation in uh, Japan too. I say that's worth it. That's almost like the same boat as me. Even though I'm not going to be competing in the calling, but I'm using that uh, that opportunity to play some fab, go to the event, get some nice promos that's there, and also get to uh, to enjoy Japan. And you're a pro player. I mean, that's a pretty good uh, excuse to uh, to go to Japan. All right. Now I was talking about that was just me in New York City. Now let's go and let's check out. Uh, let's see if you were to do from LA, okay, Los Angeles, because that's on the other side of the United States, closer to what you call it. It's closer to uh, Japan because it's on the other side of the Pacific Ocean. So it's around let's say a thousand. Because this one, if I click on this one, I remember doing it. It's separate tickets, so it's about sixteen hundred. But if you go to just uh, United right here with a non-stop, look at that, thousand dollar, even cheaper than it is uh, from uh, from New York, thousand dollars. So you're saving around two hundred dollars from from where I am. All right. So <laughs> LA player again, two hundred dollars off. Might be a good opportunity for you to go to Japan, see Japan, play some Fresh and Blood, all right, and uh, and enjoy. Now let's check it out. If we were to do, let's just say you're somewhere in Europe, right? Uh, let's do Germany. Germany. Let's do uh, Berlin. All right, thousand dollars. Same thing too. So uh, one uh, one stop right here, and let's just say returning flight. Same thing. One stop. Okay, so it's a thousand dollars. Okay, so again, same thing. So yeah, you're about the same boat as uh, as the pro player and me in the U.S. Okay, you want to see Japan, you want to play some pro, some fab, and you know you're gonna be a, a disadvantage because you're gonna be do uh, doing Japanese cards. You're gonna be have to uh, play with Japanese cards, so it might not be um, worth it for you if you're just gonna play fab, but it be worth it for you. It might be worth it for you if you were to do um, fab and see Japan and right? Japan's a very big uh, tourist destination now if you're in the Pacific Asia region it's not just Australia I say Sydney to Tokyo look at that $500 I'm pretty sure most of the pros are gone that are in like Sydney or Melbourne or New Zealand or like anywhere the Philippines and all that stuff you're probably gonna go okay now let's try Vietnam Vietnam I'm from Vietnam well I was born in Vietnam I'm not uh, I'm, don't really I'm gonna do Ho Chi Minh City Saigon which is where I'm from not from Hanoi all right two hundred and seventy dollars oh my god times like this I wish I lived in Vietnam Two hundred and seventy dollars round trip, nonstop, six hours only, and coming back. Yeah, yeah, two hundred and seventy dollars. 
to go to Vietnam. I mean, to go to Tokyo. Chances are, if you have the money, the luxury, you're gonna go. You're gonna see via you're gonna see Tokyo, and you have the ability to go to Japan because uh, you know Vietnam. It's not too yeah. It's not like like other countries where you kind of have to have permission to leave Vietnam. But Hong Kong, I'm pretty sure you don't really need permission to leave Hong Kong. Same thing, two hundred ninety dollar, right? So I'm pretty sure you're gonna see a lot of players from the Pacific, um, Eastern Pacific, what's that? They call it the APAC region. And they're gonna go and they're gonna go, they're gonna see and they're gonna play. So let's get back to this. <laughs> Is it worth it if you are a casual player just going to play some fab in Tokyo and that's it? No, definitely not worth it. You're not gonna pay twelve hundred dollars, thousand to twelve hundred dollars just to play some fab. Is it worth it for you if you're a casual player who are who's going to play some fab in Tokyo and also vacation in Tokyo? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's worth it. Kill two birds with one song. Is it worth it if you are a pro player who is going to Tokyo to play in the calling and only play? You're gonna spend your three days, four days there, and that's it? I don't think so. Unless you know Japanese and you know you have a good chance of uh, of taking it all, right? Because uh, I don't know if you uh, there's any much um, like seasoned veteran fab uh, Japanese players yet. You, you could prove me wrong. Is it worth it if you are a pro player who don't speak Japanese? And don't know how to read write Japanese and going to Japan to not only play in the calling but also to vacation and and to what you call it uh, to see Japan I say yeah which is same boat as me is it worth it if you are also in like Europe and all that stuff uh, same thing if you are in Europe pro player going to play fab only calling don't know Japanese that's it. Just play and come back. Not worth it. I don't think so. Is it worth it for you to vacation? You don't know Japanese and just to see it? Yeah. If you are, how about this this one? You're uh, somewhere in Europe. You speak Japanese. You read write Japanese. You're a pro player. And you're going to Japan. You're going to pay that thousand, thousand two hundred dollars to go to play. Maybe. And you know you have a good chance. I don't know what's the cost of face of it. I'm pretty sure you you'll be ahead. Like you get some stuff in the promos and you're getting your prize money. I think it's worth it if you know you could. Do. Now let's go to if you're in Asia and you are a casual player like me, and you have the luxury of going there where two hundred something dollars it's not it's not gonna break break your bank, and you want to go to Tokyo just to play some fab. I think it's worth it. And if you are a casual player like me, won't break the bank, going to ca going to Japan to see Japan and also play fab, hell yeah! And if you are a pro player, well, let's just say this: if you are if you're in the APAC region, and you are going to think about going to uh, Tokyo, I'm pretty sure chances are you're gonna go pro or not. Because the uh, because it, it's a it's a great time. You you gonna you gonna be in Japan. How, how many people? I don't know how many people I know like personally that hates Japan or dislike Japan or something like that. I'm pretty sure most of people on, like would love to go to Japan. So I feel like that's gonna be the same sentiment. So pro player in APEC region worth it. Casual players in APEC region worth it. Pro players in uh, the Western Hemisphere are uh, going to uh, that don't speak Japanese or uh, or read or write Japanese going to play fab only in calling. Not really worth it. You're gonna be a bit dismissed. Pro players, casual players who are going to uh, in the Western Hemisphere who is going to Japan to uh, play in either the calling or the side of men and also tour uh, Japan I think that's worth it if you have the money that's all I got for you and let me know what are you 
are you a pro player casual player or are you going to go to japan or to for this or are you going to japan to only play in the fab events and then go home or are you going to play in the uh, in the um, fab events and also tour japan and or, or are you a part of the apac region and you're definitely gonna go and why and when are you going <laughs> not a chance if you are or not going when are you going and how long you're going to be staying there that's all i got for you uh, ladies and gentlemen uh i hope to see you next time and uh, and let's see what i'm going to talk about next peace <laughs>